today i'll show you how to clean and cut koi fish uh, this is the koi fish it is not much to look at but it is utterly delicious uh, it is con considered to be a delicacy in bengal and is co it's quite expensive um, and it used to be my father's favorite fish um, and um, i love it as well this is what the fish looks like up close as you can see it has got some very spiky fins and it's armored to the hilt it's got to, you know it's covered in scales which are hard to get rid of and even its dorsal fins are spiky so you need to be very careful uh, while handling the fish because the chances of you uh, piercing and cutting the skin on the palms of your hands are high but uh, with a bit of practice you can master the art of uh, descaling uh, koi fish and gutting it uh, gutting it yourself i picked the fish up from asian supermarkets it comes frozen and i don't have fishmongers here who can clean it for me so i've had to learn to clean it myself take a pair of scissors and chop off the dorsal fin first it's really spiky and uh, your job gets much easier uh, when you get rid of it then take off the dorsal fins like I'm doing uh, and just follow the line of the body of the fish and you should be okay and you won't rip into the skin as such there we go and it's very slippy this fish uh, it's very slippy a very oily fish and therefore oh, you know you have to uh, be a bit careful uh, otherwise it might slip out of your fingers uh, now this is a fish scaler which I picked up uh, from a lo local market for around five pounds it makes the job much easier uh, as you can see it takes off scales very very easily um, in Bengal we have a spe special blade called uh, the boti that's what my mom and my aunts used to use they never liked cleaning koi though I mean uh, whenever my father got koi from the market I mean they my mother and my father used to have an argument <laughs> because she didn't like cleaning it at all and uh, descaling it um, uh, and as uh, as many many Bengali housewives that I know of don't they like uh, cooking the fish uh, but and eating it but cleaning it is not their uh, you know forte but as you can see it's not really very hard um, it just takes a little bit of practice and then you can uh, really do it quite easily with the right tools give the fish a rinse get rid of the scales some of the loose scales then again with the scaler uh, go for the hard to reach uh, places koi has scales right about everywhere and you need to be able to you know get rid of it now take off the that hard uh, uh, cartilage or is it bone I don't know a bit that is covering the gills you need to get rid of the gills as well uh, of the fish and it's very bony there so it, it'll fly off with the scissors there are some scales just under uh, the fish's mouth that you need to get rid of and uh, you need to be quite firm with it and make sure you get rid of all the scales there are some scales that near the tail which are also a bit difficult to take off here we go another rinse under the tap now we need to get rid of that skin under the mouth of the fish I just get rid of it totally now give it a tug and 
and then uh, tuck the gills and this can be hard again now we need to open the fish up to get its guts out I'm just going to give it, uh, try to prise it open and go in with the scissors like I'm doing here. I tend to get rid of everything uh, that's there in the gut. Uh, if there are eggs in there, I would keep them, but in this case, there aren't. So I just uh, get rid of everything. Give it a good wash under the tap. It's looking nice now. My favorite uh, koi dish is a fried koi and that is considered to be a lovely meal with boiled rice just boiled rice and the oil in which the koi has has been fried with a bit of salt makes for a lovely lunch as you can see the koi is clean just check it with your hands that all the scales have been removed it should it should be smooth to touch That's the last of the scales removed now. Good rinse. Here we go. One nice koi ready for the pot.